Finally, Lamar, I think, has some competent receivers to throw to. Mm -hmm. And teams will not just sit there and bracket coverage Mark Andrews. And they're just <laughs> like, like, I don't know who you're going to throw to. So, like, Devin oh, Duvernay on the outside. It's like, come on, bro. What can this uh, guy do? Yeah. So, I, I think the Ravens made very good additions there in terms of, of like, I think it was their biggest need. It's just adding more receiving weapons on offenses. So you unlock Mark Andrews even more back to what he used to be. Um, opens up the run game more. It just everything is better if you are a threat to throw to more than just your tight end. 100%. Uh, and then we, we kind of touched on their defense earlier, but uh, this defense is very, very good. Um, obviously, bringing in Roquan Smith last year, you still have Patrick Patrick queen um front seven is is good you got michael pierce and travis jones um up the middle so travis jones has had a very good camp from what i've seen and heard um and people have been kind of diving into some of his like all 22 film from last year he only gonna get better he's only gonna get stronger so um you know he'll be big at solidifying up front for them linebacker room is very good like i said patrick cream Wolcon smith and tyus bowser um They've got good corners. They still got Miles uh, or Marlon Humphrey, Kyle Hamilton, Marcus Williams. Like you've got, they're very, very good defense. I think the Ravens are in for a big year. I think Lamar is in for a big year. I think people have started to get a little bit disrespectful uh, with Lamar. And again, I think a lot of that just has to do with, like I said, teams were coming out and just. All you got to do is take away Mark Andrews, and that shuts down 70% of the, the Ravens' offense. It's just what can Lamar do with his legs. Um, so with more options there, like I said, with Lamar, J.K. Dobbins hopefully back healthy, um, and then this O-line still is, is set up together well. I've also been seeing reports from camp that they've been trying to figure out how to get Patrick Ricard reps on the O-line. I've seen that, He's yeah. like this is like one of the most crazy Swiss Army knife players, like full back. Then they try to put for him real. at they had him at D tackle for a bit. Now he's about to play guard. Like they just want him on the field. That's what it is. They just yeah. need bro. He's a, play, he's a playmaker. Make plays. Yeah. I respect. <laughs> it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really high on the Ravens this upcoming season. I'm really high on Lamar because I think the disrespect has gotten a little bit too far. Like, bro won MVP a couple of years ago. Like, come Unanimous. on, it's not. Right. He's not y'all are gassing it. It's not his fault. I'm not putting the blame on him. If he don't perform with this core, right, we can start right. to we can start to talk. But it's very different, like you said, when you have Odell and Rashad Bateman and Nelson Aguilar and likely and Mark Andrews as opposed to you know Devin Duvernay. And they have like a super old Sammy Watkins for a little bit. Yeah, it's like, like and those these guys are your number one receivers. It's like, what can you expect this guy to do in already a run first offense with a very who was like one of the worst in the league as far as like pace of play. Like there is, was a slow pace offense. There was a run first offense, and then a like along with the fact that you lose your number one receiver in Rashad Bateman, like I think week two or three in the season. Yep. Mark Andrews again, double team. It's like, bro, you're throwing to a return specialist, Devin Duvernay, who I actually think is a good playmaker, but he's not a number one receiver. Yeah. The nasty like, kick returner. Yeah, I'm about to say, he's a good kick returner. Like, he's a good special teams guy. He's a good playmaker. But if he's your best receiver on the field, that is a problem, no matter who the yeah. quarterback is. So it's like, you switch, you switch out all these receivers with Odo Beckham Jr. Whether you think he has anything left in the tank, he's still 10 times better than whatever they had last year. Then you have Zay Flowers, who, like you said, you are high on. I'm very high on Zay Flowers. Like, I think he's going to do wonders in this slot for them. I think he's going to mm -hmm. I think he's going to be big, and I think he's going to be big right away. Um, Rashad Bateman, his health has always kind of been a problem, so I don't really know what his injury status is. I think last I seen, he was – doing drills on the sideline like he was just getting back from his injury whatever injury he had so if they can get all three of those guys together healthy even if one of those guys aren't like top of the league like one of the best receivers in the league the fact that you have all of them together along with your number one your real number one option in mark andrews mm -hmm. that is a very 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 good receiving core that and, and, and the new oc no more greg roman who i know a lot of ravens fans were not happy with no um, felt like the offense got I think two stale and one dimensional at times, mm -hmm. um, especially from a play calling perspective. So no more Greg Roman. 
um, was it Todd Monken is his Todd name? Yep. Yeah. Um, there now is the OC. So, um, yeah, I, I'm expecting a lot from Lamar and the Ravens because I think it was Ryan Clark was on first take and they were talking about Lamar and it was like, Stephen A said something crazy about him. He was like, bro, you're acting like Lamar didn't turn the NFL into like playground recess football for a full season was literally out here making the best defenders on the planet look like children. Yeah. Spin, spin, spin move, breaking off two people at the same time. Like if you can get enough weapons around him to where it just gets hard to key in very hard on one thing, his offense is going to be wide. Like he's, it's going to open up so much. He's the most, again, being very specific with my wording, the most dynamic player quarterback, like in terms of his ability to pass and run. He's the best. I think the best running quarterback still is a, I think a very good passer. He just needed the weapons. Um, and so now those are there. So I, I think he's going to perform well. Like I said, if he doesn't, we can start to talk everything that we've seen last season. Like I'm not worried that much about it. I'm interested with the new OC and with this new, um, you know, kind of revamped receiver room what Lamar is able to do and what this Ravens team is able to do. Second, I have the Ravens finishing first. I like you. I'm just like you. I think the Ravens are in for a really, really big year. Like, I think they're genuinely real contenders. Like, they can challenge, like, Kansas City for, well, like, coming out of the AFC. I genuinely do. Just, they look like they don't have many weaknesses. It sucks because it's like the the year that they had all the momentum going into the playoffs, they had that horrible – wide receiver showing <laughs> it was against uh new england right the year that they had the bye week they were the one mm-hmm. seed and then literally there was like drop pass after drop pass um and they end up losing that game and since then they haven't really made any noise in the playoffs so now when they people t- people talk about afc contenders it's the same teams right you get kansas city obviously buffalo uh cincinnati the Ravens do not get put into that and conversation they're in, at they're all. They're in that class. I think I genuinely think they're they deserve to be in that conversation for yeah. sure. So. They just they have to prove it at this point. That's why I said, like, this is the year for Lamar where it's like the front office did their part, right? They also got off of Greg Roman. You got a new OC, you got revamped receivers, they got Roquan last year. The defense is still gonna play at an elite level. What can you do? Because if you can't do it with this, then it's like, that's a problem. I'm not expecting that, but it's like, you got to prove something now if you want to be regarded in that same tier of like, these are guys who are a threat to come out of the AFC year in, year out. People don't mention the Ravens because they haven't even come close to it. Right. From terms of like postseason success. 